let's look at set three. Ganga, Kaveri, and Narbada are three women who buy raw four raw materials: mango, apple, banana, and milk, and sell five finished products: mango smoothie, apple smoothie, banana smoothie, mixed fruit smoothie, and fruit salad. Table one gives the information about the raw materials required to produce the five finished products. Okay. One unit of a finished product requires one unit of each of the raw materials mentioned in the second column of the table. So in order to make a mango smoothie, you need one unit of mango and one unit of milk. Similarly for apple smoothie, you need one unit of apple and one unit of milk. Okay. So on and so forth. One unit of milk, mango, apple and banana cost five, three, two, one respectively. Each unit of a finished product is sold for the profit equal to two times the number of raw materials used to make that product. For example, apple smoothie is made with two raw materials, apple and milk, and will be sold for a profit of four per unit. So basically what they're saying is, let's look at the cost, mango and milk, five and three, eight. The profit would be four because two units are used, which means, the selling price here will be 12 for apple smoothie. It is five and two. So cost is seven profit is four selling price is 11. Okay. For banana smoothie cost will be five plus one, six profit will be four. So we get 10 year selling price for mixed fruit smoothie. Everything is mixed. So 11 and because there are four items, the profit will be eight selling price is 19. For fruit salad, the cost will be six. Three items are being mixed. So six and selling price is 12. We have individual selling price of each of these combos, each of these combos. Okay. Uh, leftover raw materials. This is an interesting point or something that you have to pay attention to. Leftover raw materials are sold during the last business hour of the day for a loss of rupees one per unit. Raw materials, not prepared finished products, raw materials are sold in the last hour for the day. Okay. The amount received from sales or revenue for each woman in each of the four business hours of the day is given in table two. Okay. We have these numbers available here. And this is all sales revenue. Of course, the selling price we have ascertained is linked with these numbers. The following additional facts are known. No one except possibly Ganga sold any mango smoothie. Okay. Ganga is the only person who had the, who had the possibility of selling a mango smoothie does not translate into she definitely sold a mango smoothie. Okay. Each woman sold either zero or one unit of any single finished product in any hour. She will sell either zero units or one unit for any finished product. You will not sell multiple units of any product. Okay. Each woman had exactly one unit each of two different raw materials as leftovers. This is an interesting bit. Now see, uh, and last point is also interesting. Three and four in uh, combination are nice. No one had any banana leftover, which means there is no banana left. The, if you have, if every woman had exactly one unit, each of two different raw materials left over, the combos could be either milk or mango, milk or apple, and sorry, not milk, mango and apple. Now, if you are selling milk and mango, the cost of this was eight, cost of this was eight, but you are selling it at a loss of one per unit which means you will sell this at six. If you're selling milk and apple, the cost of this was seven because you are selling it at a loss of one per unit. You will sell it at five. Similarly, mango apple, the cost of this was five because you're selling it at loss of one per unit. You will sell it at three. These points we are able to infer fairly straight away. The next part of the question, of course, is linked with identifying what uh, numbers can be associated with what? So for that, what we need to do is I will carry forward all my learnings from the other page. I know selling prices are important. Selling prices were 12 and 11 
and 10 and 19 and 12. We know apart from Ganga, nobody can sell a mango smoothie. What else do we know? Okay. The milk mango combos. Milk mango. Milk apple. And mango apple. Whichever group is there, sold for six, sold for five, and sold for three. Right now, we know each woman sold either zero or one unit of any finished product in any hour. Look at Ganga's 23. Now, in order to record what are the possibilities of items that she's selling, I'm going ahead and writing this here. Look, look at this. I'll call this P. I will call this Q. I will call this R. I'll call this S and I will call this T so that I can list it out properly. 23 is made with 11 and a 12. 11 is definitely Q. Q is definitely involved. But 12 could be either P or T. So I will write P or T. Q is definitely there, but between P and T, I don't know. Now 21, I know has to be from Q and R only. So Q and R. 29 has to be from R and S only. This is done. We will take care of the fourth hour slightly later. First, let's finish off everything else. 19 will be from S only, guaranteed. 22, 22 will be with 10 and 12. But because mango smoothie is, nobody can make mango smoothie apart from Ganga, Kaveri will take only R and T. R and T. Now, 30 we have to make. It will be from 19 and 11. So, Q and S. Fourth hour, we'll take care of later. 31, we've got for Narmada. It will be 19 and 12. So it has to be S and T. It cannot be T with Narmada. 21 has to be with Q and R. 23 has to be with Q and T. And for the first three hours, we know precisely which items are being produced, which items are being sold. Now for the last hour, see, uh, can mango and apple, see, because we are making, because we are selling off one of these three combos in the last hour as well. If we had sold off mango and apple here, if we had sold off mango and apple here. So from the sales of the finished products, we would reach 27. Can 27 be created with the help of these numbers? Not at all. You cannot create 27. Which means mango and apple is not being sold off by Ganga in the last hour. Let's say milk and apple was being sold off by Ganga in the last hour. So from the sale of finished products, we are reaching a total of 25. Can a total of 25 be reached here? Again, not possible. A total of 25 cannot be obtained. Which means milk and apple was not being sold off by Ganga. The only combo left is milk and mango. If milk and mango was being sold off by Ganga, then from the finished product, she's getting sales of 24. Can 24 be created? Yes, with the help of P and T. With the help of P and T, 24 can be sold off. And the raw material she is selling off are milk and mango. Worth rupees 6. We have got this. Let us look at Narmada first because Kaveri is interesting. Let us look at Narmada first. If I sell off milk or mango here, milk and mango here, the sales from finished products would turn to 16. We cannot make a 16. So that is not possible. In fact, this is fairly easy to see. The only way it is possible if mango and apple are being sold off here. In which case, sales from the finished product is 19 and S is being sold here. S is being sold here. Now, look at Kaveri. If I take off 3, if I take off 3, I will reach a total of 24. Can 24 be created? Anyone who thinks P and T can make 24. Remember, Kaveri cannot sell mango smoothie. So, P and T is not available. And therefore, 24 cannot be made. This is not possible. So let's see if milk and apple were removed. If milk and apple were removed, 22 would be created with milk 
एंड एप्पल मैंगो एप्पल थ्री मिल्क एंड एप्पल मिल्क एंड एप्पल फाइव गॉन ट्वेंटी टू लेफ्ट कैन ट्वेंटी टू बी क्रिएटेड वेरी मच सो विथ आर टी विथ आर टी एंड इफ यू स्टॉप हियर इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज दिस इज जस्ट वन केस वी हैड टू चेक ईच ऑफ दीज केसेस वी हैव फाउंड वन केस लेट एस से वी वर सेलिंग मिल्क एंड मैंगो हियर मिल्क एंड मैंगो हियर in which case 6 was gone so 21 is left here if 21 is left here it will be created with qnr qnr this is also a possibility and this is also a possibility both these things happening in the last r with kaveri is a possibility we have listed out all possible possibilities we have listed out all possible items that are being sold we still don't know in the first r if Ka ganga sold a mango smoothie or a fruit salad but everything else is recorded let's get to individual questions what best can be concluded about the number of units of fruit salad sold in the first star fruit salad was t so in the first star narmada is definitely selling a fruit salad ganga is potentially selling it so either one or two option c done Question twelve: Which which of the following is necessarily true? Ganga did not sell any leftover apples. For Ganga, leftover items were milk and mango only. She did not sell any leftover apples. This is absolutely true, and therefore should be the answer. But for peace of mind, we will check others also. Kaveri sold one unit of leftover mangoes. Yes, it is possible. Kaveri sold one unit of leftover mangoes. so this is not necessarily true this is possibly true in some case it can be false also narmada sold one unit of leftover milk no narmada is only selling mango and apple there was no case where she was selling milk ganga did not sell any leftover mangoes ganga is selling leftover mango so this is also false answer is option a next is what best can be concluded about the total number of units of milk the three women had in the beginning now fun thing for milk can we see if you had p or q or r or s milk is getting utilized if you had t or q or r or s milk is getting utilized only when you have t is milk not getting utilized so at every place p q r for the first three hours we can directly come to account apart from t whenever you can 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 13 milk is definitely used 13 milk is definitely used again counting q q r r s s r q s s q r q four here four here Five here, thirteen milk is definitely getting used. Apart from that, let's look at the base. One from here, T and T. One from here, so one, two, fifteen already done. Two more milk we have got. Definitely used. Now, regardless of what case you take for Kaveri, regardless of what take case you take for Kaveri, one unit of milk is sold here. One unit of milk is sold here. one unit of milk is sold here so plus 3 milk we have reached these are certain counts of milk units used these are certain counts 18 is most definitely there now the worst case would be the worst case would be when you have t here and you have t here but in either case can you see this r this r is definitely present in both these cases so one more r is also getting counted most certainly how this is becoming too much this milk counting is troubling me let me count again 1 2 3 4 5 okay ganga 5 and 6 ganga Six and seven, Ganga has seven milk most definitely, seven or eight. 
Ganga has seven or eight, depending on whether P or T is used here. Kaveri, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Either six or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six or seven here. Okay. For Narmada, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We have five here. Okay. So, cases wise, minimum case would be seven, six, five, eighteen. Maximum case would be eight, seven, five, twenty. The intermediate case would be eight, six, five, nineteen also. So all three, 18, 19, 20, any of these numbers are possible. So answer to the 13th question has to be C. Last is, if it is known that three leftover units of mangoes were sold during the last business hour of the day, how many apple smoothies were sold during the day? Pay attention. If three units of mango are sold during the last hour, can you see effectively they're saying Kaveri cannot have this case. Kaveri cannot have this case. This is the storyline that is happening. And they're asking for apple smoothies. Apple smoothie, we had given the uh, code of Q. Let's count how many Q. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six apple smoothies are being sold. So answer to this question is six. And that is the entirety of this set. It helps immensely. If we use this code for PQRST, that uh, enables us to come up with cases for whatever pairs are getting created fairly quickly.